Hi, okay, so today we're going to talk about Steam trading cards. Now, how do you get it? Basically, if you have a game that actually gives trading cards, for example, like Doom or like Soul Gambler, anything that does actually give trading cards, all you have to do at first is play the game. You can have the game you can load the game and you can leave it idle while you go to bed and sleep and wake up in the morning you'll have steam training cards it will give you approximately half of what the complete set is so if you have the game requires a set of eight cards to level up to a badge it will then give you approximately three or four so with that in mind you could let the game idle or you could just you know do a normal person thing and actually play the game so basically you can just let the game run switch off your monitor, do your anything, and while the game takes the count of how many hours you've played, it will, and this varies from game to game, draw, uh, drop some trading cards into your inventory. Now, if you need to purchase credit cards, ah, trade cards, you will go to market. But first, let's see what I'm missing. So I'm going to go to, under my profile name, badges. <coughs> Now it says here that my Resident Evil, uh, I've got two ba uh, badges already, so it's on level two, and that basically has three out of six. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look around. What do I not have? Okay, so these have no card drops anymore. Unlike this game, I just need to play longer. Well, it's not a game, it's a software, of course. I get it to drop. But now, what do I not have of Skyrim? Okay, so say I take this, I'm going to click on it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a note of the cards I'm missing. So here it says I've got one of this, two of these, one of those. Now you must just make sure you have some wallet money, otherwise it's not going to work because you cannot use your credit card for them, you have to use from your wallet, so just add funds there by clicking on it then you'll have the option of adding funds and then you just go through the steps so I need a zero right click copy and, and notepad just helps I need nodic runes I need to play more of this game actually so actually copy What you can also do is you can add all of them and just say I've got one of these or you could say I need five of them. So however makes your life easier. Now I've got all of these that I'm missing and now I'm going to go to the marketplace. In the marketplace you can pretty much buy your stream trading cards, Team Fortress 2 items, CSGO items, all of that, even wallpapers and stuff. And so yeah, so these are what I'm currently selling in my region price and of course these are what I'm trying to buy at these region price, which is ridiculous because this is a lot of money for some reason for wallpaper. So this is the current new items that are in stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a zero, copy, and paste, and say search. Now this will search for that card. Now there will be other things as well. There will even be foil cards as you can see. However, we're not going to bother with foil cards. Because foil cards are just expensive, they're very, very rare. If you have them, I suggest sell them. Or if you are like I did the one time with Batman, collect all of them, uh, turn it into a badge, and you have a foil badge. It does not give you extra point, extra experience points. It only just gives you the badge, save experience points, and you know emotes and things. Maybe a little bit more rare emotes that you can also trade off. So we're going to click on zero, but I'm going to do on my mouse, I'm going to press the middle mouse button, not the left click. I'm going to open up in the middle, and this is just going to be quicker, and I'll explain why. Since it opens another page, and does not load the entire page, now it says there, there is one at two and nine cents. Now in dollars, this is obviously different, this is probably a few cents. I'm going to click buy, so we're really going to have that on. I can say I want to buy five, but I'm just going to keep it at one. I say I agree to the terms condition, place order. Now, again, the position is also the fact that if, and I can click on that now, if you buy a trading card, you can, it's untradable immediately. 
due to obviously scamming people and stuff is un not everything is tradable in right off the bat you have to wait a period of time so and then I've purchased it it's taken off my amount there as I had 62 now I can click on view interpretary but I'm gonna leave it I know it's there so I click close I'm gonna click close and I'm back on this page now I can just take Nordic runes search and I say this is quicker because instead of loading the whole thing and starting over I can just go directly here uh, this is uh, you see now I clicked left click and this is what's going to happen I'm going to buy I say agree place order it's matching that price I've got it now I have to click back oh, I have to wait for it to load back see it's just a little bit longer now instead of just you know closing so this <laughs> basically trading cards it's, it's fun it's virtual cards it's it's got no real purpose except for helping leveling up your steam level and of course it's uh more for bragging right to be perfectly honest but however if you have a set of cards you can trade it with people for coupons to have uh, cheaper games of course you can have it where you can trade them for other games or anything like that i mean like a, a lot of cards but this is entirely up to you because obviously there will be trading groups that has these abilities so all you have to do is just join the groups and see how th what their rule is and things how many cards for x amount of thing you can swap cards between people say you you have one extra card that you don't really care for you don't want it you're not going to create a bad for it or you have spare cards that you already made badges for it you then can trade for a card by from someone else in your friends list that actually has a card you want and that also wants to trade it in for maybe your card so you can do some tradings and we're going to explain that in another video so that's Talos it's not that expensive should have done this in Steam Town sales yeah the best time to do this is is sales because people tend to drop cards like crazy place order successful and now with mother no nope. oh, doesn't matter just close this we don't need him anymore and yeah, we'll just left kick here because we're not going anywhere bloody bring down of the wives wake me up in the morning wow you're loading really slow there come on Come on. Thank you. And I'm gonna buy it. Now you could do this is say purchase order for a lower price. So whenever somebody actually puts it on that lower price, you will then get it. So you don't have to spend that money now. You can say buy and put half the amount. As you can see, you'll have what is currently people are selling this for. This is what people's requesting. There are three people selling it at that price. So if I'm a seller and I'm going to sell one, I'm going to sell it at maybe just over that price. So I can just make a tiny bit more. And then, yeah. And you also got these. So you know how expensive they were, how low they were. You see. And then obviously these are the highest and such. So that's how to purchase stream trade cards and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to badge badges and again they sit in your inventory now it's right on top it has pretty much all the cards and it's ready so I'm going to click on it and you can see I don't have a badge I'm going to click on it and then all the cards are there and what's neat what you may not know is you can click on this one for so long and basically open up the whole thing like a nice wallpaper you can even right click copy url and i just want to show you a notepad quick and it basically gives it to the card and from there you can actually right click view and then you have a wallpaper which is a nice little tip and trick there for you guys so if you see oh this is really cool again you can use it as a wallpaper not for your steam profile but for your desktop of course okay so i'm going to say craft badge you have one item in your inventory 
and now it's crafting, shuffling, and other cards are gone forever. Now I've got a badge that's giving me 100 experience points, I've got a wallpaper, and I've got an emote. Now emotes is when you're having a conversation with someone on Steam, you can just go a little dub doiki, folk red dirt, and it'll pop up that badge. And of course I have now a voucher for this little game here, 90% off, which the vouchers actually has an expiry date, but we're going to check that out now. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to click on view my inventory. And you can see that now these are here. So I've got coupons, I've got games, I've got gems, I've got everything here. Now what I want to show you is the, the wallpaper and anything you get, uh, you cannot trade immediately. You can turn it into gems, which in short, gems you can create a booster pack, or the mine's doing some funny stuff. You have to have a thousand and then you can sell the booster pack. So if you collect a couple of cards and you get rid of them into gems, which is irreversible, you can then sell them. Or I can say that's pack gems into a sack, sorry. Create booster pack is basically a pack of three cards. So I click booster pack for example, and I've got five hundred and sixty seven gems. Now, yeah, I can't buy any of these gems, but let's say uh, anything in white is what I can get. So, Brutal Legends, or for example, what do I not have? Hmm. Quake Life has Nessus, Revelations, no. Son of Rome, I don't think I've made those. Okay, let's take Skullgulls, I know that's new for me. So, I can say Make Pack. Then I'll get a pack of trading cards. Now, pack of trading cards you can trade immediately. You do not know what's in there. It could be it could be a foil. However, you do not know what is in there. So they will sell at a certain price. However, <coughs> you can then unpack them and you get three random cards. Which you can sell the video. You can make you more money or you can make you less money. I always tend to find on making a little bit less. Like this for example, like I say unpack and if you take the three cards I don't make as much money. However I really going to unpack them when I need it so I'm gonna leave it for now and then of course wallpapers yeah it's for your steam profile which we'll get to in a later stage and of course these are for when you're in conversations you can just say for example fluffy bunny who the hell let's see who send message this is a friend of mine from Germany do not even bother um that's just what I know of uh ink ribbon. Howdy. How ah, have you been? Oh, did I do something wrong? Well that's supposed to work. Otherwise you can just click on here. And there you go. So I typed it wrong. Either way, let me just uh, spam the crap out of the person right now. There you go. Either way, so this is what you can do with Steam training cards. And what's cool is that then you can level up. So every single point is going to a level. So I'm currently level 57. Not the highest in Steam. Obviously, these people spend a lot of money. And this is what I'm going to say. It costs money to get trading cards. It just does. You can get away with it sometimes. You can get some really good times where you can get some free cards from, like, say, summer sale or holiday sale where they give cards lately. I prefer to make a badge, you know, it's rare for me. But yeah, I've, I need 402 more experience points to get to level 58. With that in mind, every time I level up, you can add more friends. I think it's five more slots per level and you will then get um what was gonna say if you're in the beginning you get to level 20 you then can add more things to your profile but we're going to add that video at a later stage but yes this is what you do with steam trading cards how to get them you go on the steam marketplace you can purchase it from them you can basically trade it from people <clears throat> and of course you can let your game idle or play it while it drops your cards into your inventory and of course, just to show you about the trading quickly. So, uh, I've got seven friends that has this card. These are the people. These are online. So I can say, 
trade. And then I can trade them whatever they want. I can even chat to them and go, hey, are you missing a card? What are you missing? Oh, I have that. Would you like to give this card for me? I will then trade it. And of course, this is entirely up to you. You can even trade coupons for cards. You can trade um, games that are inventories for cards. Entirely depending on the both the people. Both parties must agree. Both parties will send off a trade. That will be another video, of course. But otherwise, thank you for watching and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Twitter account in the description. My Patreon account in the description. It's entirely up to you to check it out. But I do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.